Hello, welcome to today's training, which is the design of a craft foundation. Okay, so this video will be on three parts. The first part will be on the introduction, which is the part one. And the part two will be on the raft foundation modeling. And then the part three will be on the raft foundation design and check-ins. So by the end of this training, you will be able to design confidently a raft foundation or a math foundation using the software Prota Structure. And also, we will also tell you the guiding principles on how on all the things you're meant to expect before you can design for a raft foundation. Okay, so first of all, before we begin, I will first of all give you a quick introduction about this structure. This structure is a hotel complex and this is a five story building. Basically, if you're counting it from this level, you will see that it is just a four story here. But the height of this last floor here is seven meters. So basically, this is like a double volume. There is a two story on this area. So a, there is also a floor around this area, which that is why the height of the uh, of this ground floor is very high. It is seven meter high. As if if you can look at this here, you will see that this is seven meter high. So that is why we counted this as one, two, three, four, and then there is another floor here, five. Because if you divide these seven meters by by two, that gives you three point five. And if you look at the intermediate stories of other ones, you will see that story two is around um, 3.5 meters high, which if you add the seven, the seven meters to this, you will see that it is 3.5 meters high. Okay, so that is why it is called um, a five story building. Okay, but for today, we have to teach you basically for the sub, um, for the sub um, foundation design. So if maybe you have um, not watched the superstructure or you want to know how to design the superstructure just like this for this five story, I would say you should go and check on the um, course about the design of five story building. So just watch, get that course and then you will be able to model it to this very stage. And then, but for the focus of this course for, for today, which is the design of the raft of the raft foundation, we are going to focus basically on the substructure, which is the raft foundation. Okay, so I think we have done um, a quick explanation about that. Then also, let's now enter into the substructure, which is the raft foundation. Now, before you must consider using a raft foundation for your structure, two things must come or must come to your mind as a structurer or a civil engineer. The first thing that should come to your mind is maybe the, the soil at which the, this, at which the structure or, this, or the soil on which the structure is meant to um, be built is not good. So if you have a weak soil, let me say the bearing capacity of the soil is not that okay, it's less than 75 kilonewton per meter square, then you should consider using a, a foundation for that building to be able to spread the load evenly. Then also in most places like um, in earthquake regions, most people still consider using um, a raft foundation to be able to spread the load because raft foundation, when there is, when there is, let me say a vibration on the soil, a raft foundation can be able to settle um, evenly without any kind of um without a uh, any form of maximum shear or deformation. Okay, so but basically that is the main thing that you are meant to know or to put into consideration. You, you don't just choose a math foundation type for to to use it to design for your structure. You only use that except these two conditions is being met. Okay, so also again, you should know that a raft foundation or a mat foundation 
is a type of shallow foundation which the depth of the of a rough foundation ranges from one meter to um, five meters or above depending on the weight of the structure so basically the depth of a rough foundation would will depend on the height of the or on first of all on the height of the superstructure and also on the weight of the structure so when the weight of your structure is very high or or is very large then the depth it will also influence the depth of your foundation okay now since you have known that for now so we have done a quick um, review about the about a rough foundation. Then also you should know that a rough foundation is of two types. It's of two, it's of two major types. And then the first one is called bean raft foundation. And the second one is called a slab raft foundation. Now the one that is most common is a bean raft foundation. The reason why it is most common is because that is the first that you are meant to consider when you're designing for a rough foundation. Now, a slab rough foundation comes into play when the beam rough foundation is not able to carry the, the, the weight or the load of the structure or to spread it evenly, then you cannot consider a slab rough foundation. A slab rough foundation is more expensive in construction compared to the being foundation okay so i will not um talk more about the construction area because i am basically focusing on the, the design of the raft foundation okay so if you want to know more about um about the construction of that you can get our course video on the construction of a raft foundation okay so basically we are done for the first part which is the introduction of this uh, of a rough foundation and the second part now of this video will be on the modeling of the rough foundation and as you as i've said before we will be using a we are going to consider a bean raft foundation for this case and not a slab raft okay so if you want to know about a slab raft foundation you can get the course video on a slab wrap foundation for a C-story building, and then you will know also how to design for um, a slab wrap foundation. Okay, so right now, let's now watch on for the part two. So, take care.